Sometimes, chronic infections of the ear or problems with the eustachian tube can create a skin cyst on the ear. We call those skin cysts cholesteatomas. These are not tumors. These are not cancers. This is normal skin of the ear canal and the eardrum that is accumulated behind the eardrum. The problem is that skin can dissolve the hearing bones and it can dissolve to go back into the mastoid bone and even create problems with the nerve that moves the face, go into the inner ear, or even cheat towards the brain area that's right above the ear. The kinds of symptoms that people show when they have cholesteatoma are hearing loss associated with ear pain, drainage, and frequent infections. One of the most characteristic findings is if a patient has a scab on the eardrum that just won't go away despite cleaning and wax, sometimes it means that that scab is the tip of the iceberg of a cyst that goes further in. In those situations, in addition to examining the ear with the microscope in the office, we'll often get a CAT scan and or an MRI scan to help us define it further. So to treat these, we need to remove that abnormal skin. Sometimes that means we have to reconstruct the little hearing bones. Reconstructing the hearing bones is called a siculoplasty. We will often do that with either a plastic or a metal hearing bone and also steal a little bit of the cartilage from the ear to cover that hearing bone to protect it from coming through the new eardrum. This surgery is effective, but sometimes it requires two separate steps. The first step to make the ear safe and the second to make sure there are no hidden roots of skin coming out. The way we make sure that that doesn't happen is we'll sometimes put a little piece of plastic behind the eardrum and then return six months to a year later. If there is any root that's growing back, it'll hit the plastic and form a little pearl that we can just pluck out. We call that staging the operation and about 10% of our patients who have a skin cyst or a cholesteatoma need that staging strategy. What we're also able to do, either in the first operation or the second operation, is replace any of the little hearing bones that have been dissolved by the infection in the cholesteatoma. And that is a nice strategy for returning the vibrations all the way to the inner ear.